So the first pudding I've got is a, um, a lemon roulade. Very, very quick and easy, quite impressive. The great thing about roulades is people think you've gone to a lot of trouble. And cooking, let's face it, is all about making people think you've gone to a lot of trouble whilst you've just thrown it in the oven and let it get on with it. So the basis of the roulade is eggs, and the only raising agent in it is air. So I've separated five eggs, I've whisked up the whites, so I've got thick egg whites, and I've whisked up the yolks with some caster sugar. But it's a really thick, rich, creamy mix of the egg yolks and the caster sugar. And then I'm going to grate in some lemon rind. So lots of lovely lemon rind going in, and then I'm going to squeeze in the juice. And then to give it a bit of body, I'm going to put in some ground almonds and a little bit of flour. The ground almonds keep it wonderfully moist and the flour gives it a bit of body. You can do this with limes as well. If you, you, know, if you haven't got enough lemons hanging around, use limes. It's quite nice with a couple of limes. And if you happen to have any lemon pips still in the mix, at least people know you've made it yourself. So a couple of lemon pips really don't matter too much. When you've squeezed a lemon, you can either put it on the compost or you can put it in the simmering oven where it dries out and it makes the most wonderful kindling for the fire. It smells absolutely gorgeous in the winter when you light the fire. So then I've got some flour and ground almonds. I'm just going to fold it all together. Then I'm going to fold in the egg whites. And that's the cake. Not that complicated. And then to bake it, I'm going to bake it on the big shallow baking tray. And I'm going to line it with a piece of bako guide. So I'm just going to spread the cake mix over the tin. If you haven't got the shallow tin, you can do it in the big deep roasting tin. But I find the shallow tins very useful. Spread that out to the edges and then I'm going to bake it. In a three or four oven aga, I would bake it in the baking oven because it's the perfect temperature to bake. In a two oven aga, it goes in the roasting oven. And I know some of you do have a two oven aga. So if I was baking this in a two oven aga, I would put it in the roasting oven on the lowest set of runners. There are four sets of runners down the side of the oven upon which all the aga tins and trays sit. In aga speak, we always count down from the top. First, second, third, fourth set of runners. Every aga recipe counts down from the top. So when the recipe says the third set of runners, it's the third down, not the third up. So if I was baking that in a two oven aga, I would pop it in the roasting oven. Obviously that's far too hot for the cake, which is very delicate. So to reduce the temperature in the oven, particularly as I've just told you never to turn it up and never to turn it down. To reduce the temperature in the oven of a two oven aga, this is what you have. It's called the cold plain shelf and the operative word is cold. I don't mean keep it in the fridge, but keep it away from the oven, keep it cool. And what you do is you slide that into the oven, two runners above the top of the cake. And it acts in three ways. First, it's just a great big slab of metal. It absorbs the heat and reduces the temperature in the oven. Second, you're sliding it into the middle of the oven, it's cutting the oven in half. The oven is designed for the heat to flow freely around it. And by sliding the shelf into the middle of the oven, you're trapping the heat and the hot air that's risen at the top. Therefore, below it is always much cooler. And as more heat is given off by the oven, it's trapped at the top. And the third way it acts, because it's in the middle of the oven with the cake underneath it, it's, it shields the top of the cake from the heat pouring down from the roof of the oven so that you stop browning quite so fast. So in a two oven aga, that's how you bake a cake. Slide the cold shelf in above the cake when it goes in the oven. If you've got a three or four oven aga, that goes into the baking oven. So that goes into the baking oven on the third set of runners, counting down from the top, one, two, three. So effectively it's in the center of the oven, ready to bake. Right, so let's have a quick look at the cake should be coming along nicely. There's the roulade, beautifully brown, front to back, evenly risen in the baking oven.
In deference to classical cooking, I've got a tea towel. Clean, dry tea towel ironed on the agar, because of course in Argoland we don't do ironing. To iron on the agar, you take it out of the washing machine or off the line if it's not raining like today. Fold it tidily, put it on the simmering plate lid and smooth it. That's ironing. You put the jeans at the bottom, the shirts in the middle, the tea towels at the top and you go to bed. You get up in the morning and the ironing fairy's been. You can hang your washing on the rail over the front of the agar. You can pile it up on the warming plate. Don't put your ironing on the boiling plate lid. It is a little hot and you will scorch your shirts. So I've got my clean dry tea towel. I'm going to turn out the cake whilst it's still warm. Peel off the bake glide. So there's my lemon roulade. Slightly unconventionally, I am now going to roll it up in the tea towel. Because if you roll it up while it's still warm, when you unroll it to fill it, all it wants is to roll back up again and it shouldn't crack. And by rolling it in a tea towel rather than a piece of greaseproof or bake glide, the tea towel absorbs the moisture and keeps it moist without going soggy. And it takes, I don't know, a while to cool down. I don't have a Blue Peter one, so we'll just leave that one there cooling down and then I'll fill it later for you. So that's the roulade. It works with all roulades, chocolate, lemon, salmon, chicken. Roll them up while they're warm, then you can unroll them and they don't have to crack. You can see as I unroll it, what it wants is to be rolled up. So you just ease it open, gently ease it flat, and then the filling for this is some whipped cream and some runny honey. And the honey has just been sitting on the back of the agar to make it easier to tip. Generous couple of tablespoons of runny honey. And we just mix that together into the cream and spread it over the cake. You could put some fruit in it as well if you like, but I think that's gilding the lily. And then to finish it off, you just roll it back up in the tea towel. And because it, all it wants to do is roll, it always rolls perfectly. And then I've got my roulade plate. Yep, they're lovely. They're perfect size for roulades. And then again, that needs some white parsley form of icing sugar. It freezes brilliantly. If you're going to freeze it, wrap it at this point in some kitchen paper and then put it in a plastic bag because as it defrosts it gives off a little extra moisture which the kitchen paper will absorb and stops it going soggy as it defrosts.